Hello, I am the voice of hindsight. You see, over here we have me in October 2023. It is now August 2024. So I'm going to hear what old me has to say and then comment and let you know how things actually went. You see, I'm getting ready to do something stupid, but I'll hand over to old me, which is actually younger me, because I'm now older me. You know what I mean, I think. I hope so. Anyway, let's see what young me has to say. They often say that 3am is the most dangerous time for humans. It's when your brain isn't quite as active as it could be. Your body's tired. Now, <laughs> body's tired. This guy knows nothing. At the moment, I am recovering, having done a 100 mile ride on Saturday on my bike, Ride the North, which was brutal, followed by an eight mile run at a reasonable pace on Sunday, the day after, and a nine mile run on soft sand yesterday, on Monday. So, yeah, 3 a.m.'s got nothing on what I'm feeling at the moment. However, more on that later. And I possibly proved that point recently. You see, at 3 a.m. Japanese time, the Tyree Ultra Marathon up on the wonderful Hebridean Island opened. And I was warned that you don't have much time to sign up. So, on a whim, I've signed up. 35 miles around a beautiful Scottish mountain in 10 hours. Beautiful Scottish island, not mountain. So hopefully by now I've learned to speak. Possibly. <laughs> Maybe not. Why on earth did I decide to do an ultramarathon on an island? I have no idea. It sounded like a good idea at the time. Traversing this whole island that I've never been to. Um, why I didn't decide to go to uh, an ultramarathon next to Jeep Hotels? I don't know, but tiry it is. What could go wrong? Well, lots. You see, I'm not ultra marathon shape. So my plan is over the 11 months to do various stages and report on my progress. So the first stage is gonna be trying to lose as much of this as possible so effectively, taking off a 30 kilogram weighted vest, weighted with lard, I'm afraid. Trying to get rid of at least 20K, but hopefully more. So 20K, um, more, hopefully more, 15K. Did really well between this video and January. And then things kind of went a bit wrong, but We'll come back to that later when I do my training montage. How exciting. And also I'm suffering with problems with my Achilles. So the idea is to reduce the load, but also to increase the strength. And hopefully about here, the Achilles will be sorted. I'll be doing this mainly by doing cycles, lots and lots of cycling on my Wahoo bike. I will be doing a couple of runs a week so a long run and a, a shorter, easier run. And the other thing I'll be doing is a lot of strength training. So really trying to work on my calves. So big sessions in the gym, calf raises, some stupid stuff and a lot of sled pushing. So this is the plan. And hopefully next spring, my Achilles should be sorted. I should be lighter and I can really push on hard with the running as well as doing a lot of the cycling. So I'm going to keep on giving a, a few updates like this, just to let you know how I'm getting on. Okay, so that didn't go very well, did it? I didn't manage to do the updates. Um, my apologies. I should have done more, but it's now August, and I think I've done one video on a run in Cape Town. I've got another one coming up soon, um, but please stick with the channel. And also, if you're a wildlife photographer, then please stick with the channel because I really will get back to it. I'm so sorry. I need to do more, but I've been training for an ultra marathon, so my apologies. Why am I putting this online? Well, a bit of pressure on myself, a bit of motivation to try and make sure that I actually stick to the plan, which 
will be a challenge. And um, see if I can get some hints and tips what I'm doing wrong. Things like if my technique's okay, you know, is anybody there who can suggest anything I can be doing better? So I'll keep you updated in amongst the wildlife videos. Oh, and if you want to see a fat guy do a ultramarathon, then I suggest you like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye. And visiting family in Japan was great fun, including being chased down the street by an angry praying mantis. This wasn't quite as dramatic as being run over by the speeding Shinkansen. Okay, it was a stationary Shinkansen, but they still decided to make me an honorary samurai. Back at home, things got a wee bit damp. My house made it onto BBC National News. The local scout group got well and truly flooded, and shall we say, there was a bit of a dampener on sporting activities. Although, to be fair, this was the least of the area's problems. November was much nicer and I managed to start picking up the running, getting nearly 50 miles done in the month including some on the coast. Beautiful. December was a big month. We had our only real winter weather of the, the entire season, some nice snow up in the Cairngorms, and I did a lot of running. I really pushed things. I did nearly 100 miles for the month, including some of it in, shall we say, Rather unusual costume. Yes, we had to do the festive thing and do the Perth Santa run. Which wasn't the quickest as I had to spend the whole race running along trying to hold up her trousers which were descending through gravity the whole time. But, enjoyable family event nonetheless. We're headed down to Hull to see the rest of my family and on the way down did a fantastic trail run around North Berwick, one I'll definitely do again, before going to the Hull Christmas Day Park Run. This is still my fastest ever 5k, 25 minutes 44 seconds, although there was a reason, fear. As you can see I was being chased by a velociraptor. Jurassic Park or East Park, I'm not sure which. I also decided to tick off the half marathon. Myself and my oldest Ollie decided to go and do a trail half marathon from Hull to Hornsey before January struck. I have no running videos for January so here's a monkey as I was in Achilles hell. February things started to recover and I managed to do this wonderful trail run up to the top of a mountain that I cannot pronounce. I'm not even going to try. Above Loch Morlock. It was beautiful. Things were on the mend, and in total, for February, I only managed 24 miles, but that was mainly in the last sort of week and a half. We then got into March, and March really was a good month. The distances started increasing. I did some really fun runs. I tend to try and like to do runs that I would actually walk, you know, enjoyable rather than just doing the same route, and this piece of the Five Coastal Trail was magnificent, really enjoyable. 93 miles run in March. April, I decided to start doing a bit more cross training, so doing different things rather than just doing running. Again, trying to protect my Achilles. A lot of weight training, but still, I didn't want to damage it. So I did things like this, which was a, a hard 10 mile run, then the day after, I doubled up by doing Ben Laws, or nearly doing Ben Laws. Trail shoes and the snow at the top stopped me actually summiting the mountain completely. May was a lot of cross training, a lot of cycling, and a lot of different activities, a lot of weight training, including chasing orc on Shetland. Oh, and having to return back to try and get the camera afterwards, which added to the distance. June was excellent, however, we'll come to that later. So if you want to see why I'm this soggy man, you'll find out soon. Thank you for watching.